Hi guys, welcome back to the Dojo A Go Go. Um, let's build modded with me, Sid, and I've I brought the next layer down. Um, I've used some carpenter's block stairs here to give me a kind of carved bark look. I'm going to do a little bit more around here, but I'm just working on the lighting in here because it is terrible. So this is the ceiling structure I've kind of thinking would look nice in here um, their carpenters blocks with um, wood in at the moment I'm thinking that the problem might as well just be wood I don't think I'm going to do anything carpentry block with them using this um, cedar wooden planks which is a nice light ceiling put another layer on it so when I put these glowstone lights in they are completely hidden which will give me some nice hidden lighting from above you also get this nice 3D kind of lip affair going on, so it gives you a little, little tiny bit of texture. And I think, as I say, these probably... Oh, I, did I? No, I did. Yeah, you can tell where the carpenter blocks are. They are, are actually slightly darker. So, yeah, I think that's, um, that's going to look quite nice for a clean ceiling and then we can put some more traditional lighting in more visible lighting and a few bit more hidden lighting in the floor and usual all the tricks that we can get up to with that doesn't really matter up here this is not going to be a used space this is just um lost space so we'll give um things so i'm going to get on and get this ceiling in place um i need to work out some lighting for in here but again using a mixture of these and glowstone I'm sure I can hide some under the dojo floor so yeah I'm going to get on with that uh, and I'm also going to experiment with some black design structure on here um, so when I come back we'll uh, we'll have a look what we got and I uh, will see you in a few moments okay so I got all this done couple of hours to actually put these uh, micro blocks in, um, carpenters blocks in um, because each one required visiting at least twice if not three times in some cases uh, there's glowstone under there so you know it is hidden lighting now in the center we've got this and then we've got our central floor here so uh, that lip there does cause you to have to jump up unfortunately but I can't have everything. I've got these beams and these like little motify bits going on up here. Now for the mat, I I played around with all sorts of carpets, um, and the best one I came up with was this. I'm afraid it's um, kind of a coarse weave combat carpet mat thing but it should be a lot lighter and you know like a woven hessian straw affair um, unfortunately I can't find anything I like in this texture pack to do that but this is a nice it's a nice contrast color from all the woods and uh, things Kung Fu cow still here uh, so yeah that's uh, He's just been hovering around, watching. So we got this to go in. Um, at, at the right end. This end. This end will be the Sensei's platform and dais. Um, kind of set back slightly. Uh, and I'm thinking about some either... St well, probably armor stands around the place. That keeps on making me think it's a creeper. But of course, I'm in peaceful mode. So there's no way it can be a creeper, but it doesn't stop me getting startled by it. <laughs> Old habits, they die hard. No, I could come all the way up like that. In fact, I think I will. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to cover this over completely. Um, and then I'm going to have a look what to do here. Probably on these two, those two, and these two. So I'll be back in a few moments. Okay, everyone was an upward. So I've got this kind of 
Deus thing here. I'm not 100% certain about it yet, but we got what we have got is a little kneeling sitting cushion that the Japanese uh, culture tend to use. Um, this is actually a half slab, and way I've, the way I've accomplished this is I chopped a block in half using the diamond saw, and then a half again, and put that on top, um, which basically gives you like a half and a bit slab. Um, so the other thing I want to play with here um, is now where's the best place there and there for the stand free standing ones and then around these top here in this um, I'm going to have the banners of their whether defeated enemies or allied clans, you know, you choose, choose the story, doesn't really matter. They will just be decorative items. And he's going to say, well, they're not very decorative, Sid, because they're just like white banners. Oops. Ah, but there's a secret to these banners. There's a very important secret. So, heraldic scroll. You right click, gives you a choice of heraldic symbols. They're not very traditionally heraldic, you know, so, some more so than others. I think there was, you know, you might have like the broken helm or um, swords or crystals or whatever, but, you know, there's a range of symbols and you can pick a background colour, you can pick a foreground colour. So I've gone for. A blue wave on red for oops for this. So I've just got to manage to hit the hit box for it if I can. There we go. So we've got little battle standards there, and then we can go off here and we can say, well, they've defeated the. I mean, most some of these are just completely inappropriate. Um, we'll have the arrowhead, the background colour can be a much richer green, let's bring some red into the picture there, done, and we can just come up here and pick the first banner and go blob, and that will give us a range of these banners around the room here so I'm going to get on and get these done um, I also need to I've also put these armor racks down so the armor not particularly appropriate but given the choices you know there's not um, there's not much in it really I'm going to, not going to have a separate design for every single one of these that would be silly to say the least so what, what, what I will do is I'll just change it up a little bit find something um, meditation background color can be bluer and the foreground color can be completely white so I'll have this the meditating monks clan or whatever they may be called oops uh, you've got to actually hit get the Sometimes you don't get the hitbox. There you go, that will do. <laughs> he says, so let's try and get a hitbox on this. Here we go. Do, 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 do. There, bang. So yeah, I'm going to get this done and I will be right back. Okay guys, as you can hear, it's raining. Um, so we've put these, again, little kneeling cushions around the outside of the fighting area, a couple of uh, little bonsai trees in pots in the corners around here. Now, I've also I've got all the little standards up around the side there. I've tried to randomize them, but I haven't. There's probably about half a dozen, maybe eight maximum things. Now, on the old Sensei's 
dais, there's um, these swords, which are... These are dead simple. That's a drying rack from Tinker's Construct, and then just some um, micro-blocks of smooth black stone, and the sword, which I, I know isn't oriental uh, uh, limited, you know, uh, is uh, straight out of um, here, basically. So, yeah, that's that bit. Now, in terms of the center, I think we're probably more or less done. Um, so the next thing I need to think about is this area around the outside and what I'm going to do here uh, with Kung Fu Cow. And I'm thinking quite a bit of greenery and... Uh, in this area, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. Out here we're going to need to put some more illumination because it's a bit dark on this banister area and finish off the bridge to the outside. So yeah, we're getting there steadily. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to illuminate here. I'm thinking again, if I take these micro blocks and where are we? About there, on each of these posts, we can blob those down. I'll uh, I'll just do a few for now. Get me old Chinese lanterns, and then we can hang those from here. Do. Let's just have a look at that from the outside. How does that look? Uh, looks alright. I think. So, that's one thing to do. Now, the... The other thing is right round the back here. I'm going to... Bring a stairway off of here and kind of snake it down so we've got access down. What we do underneath, God only knows, come to that one eventually. But I've got a stairway there that can go in. Um, and then, as I say, something in these areas, which is going to be fun. There's quite a large expanse of area, but again, I'm going to keep it very open and uncluttered. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, experiment in this area and I'm going to get those lanterns put outside and I'll be back in a short while. Okay guys, I've, I've done most of the inside. I just wanted to show you this process while I... Uh, then I'll give you a quick tour around the inside. So, I've, I've built... Oops. The bridge. And it's a fairly simple affair. Um extended the water down under here Oop, bye bye. to give me my first bit of waterfall this is going to be extended out and then come out under here I think for the gardens area I'm not sure what I'm going to do under there if if anything but I wanted to have like some statues on here now we have got the statues mod on this pack so if I put two blocks that I want to make the statue out of uh, I could stick a player name in there I'm just going to leave it as Steve so it's uh, standard, but I, I could put in uh, a notch in there if I wanted. I think it's, is it? Or is it lowercase? No, alright. Uh, what about dinner bone? No, it's not wanting to pick those up for some reason. Anyway, um, not too worried about that. But we compose the the figure. So we can get that like that. We can move uh, that arm down, bring that arm further up, sculpt that, and bang, we get that. And then give him a, or oh, what shall we give this one? Now, the nice thing with having these on is I can actually give them stone items. Um, lots of different stone items. It's a shame there isn't a stone armor, but, you know, can't have everything. So... Go with the iron armor again. To click on there, equip him. Do do. 
stick that in. I think it's that. Is it that? Yep, that hand. And that gives me two statues as we go in there, and we can just keep on working on that as we as we like, really. So let's bring that one forward. Let's rotate the whole thing facing that way a bit. Bring that all the way so straight. And then this one I want to try. Now this, this one's going to be a bit more challenging, I think. Because what I want to do here is give him a bow and arrow. And some stuff. Stick the bow in that hand, the arrow in that hand. No, nope. <laughs> one way around. So we got the bow, and now that needs to be. It's quite difficult to position these sometimes, but you can rotate the actual positioning of the items as well. But no, that's not gonna. Looks weird, but it doesn't matter. Um. Minecraft characters wielding weapons often look weird, in my experience. You know what, I'm going to take the bow off him, because that looks silly, and I'm going to give him a hammer. <laughs> and get myself a new hammer. Um, and then finally, that one, oh, this one, so we'll bring that arm back, we'll raise that right up high, we'll bring that back down, we'll get him into a action pose of some description, actually that probably wants to go like that, let's just straighten him up to the front, have him looking that way, and finally, let's get rid of that. We'll give him uh, a suit of armor. And... I think this guy is going to be wielding... Where are we? A steel mattock. That can be fun. That could be fun. Let's see. Right hand, no. Da -da. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Um, but, but. So, as we walk in here, let me just get rid of my uh, sculpting materials, and we can do any kind of thing at the moment. We've just got a fairly simple bridge affair. It walks in, got the uh, thing, we've got carpet as we walk in, that extends both ways. Armor axe throughout. If we walk this way, I've put in plenty of greenery. I've kept it fairly minimalist as well. Weapons racks, these are just bibliocraft things. There is a lighting glitch there, and I don't know why. So we can wander around here. Um, some more armor, weapons. Obsidian armor there. Obviously, here's the old Sensei's platform. Uh, combat area. Similar over this side. I put a partition all the way down here, because this side is going to be the Sensei's quarters and private chambers. And then out the back we have this going on which basically gives us our stairwell so I've got the sensei's quarters to do which will be interesting um, or private space this is uh, this is but I think this side is pretty much done now in terms of over here is interiors are all my ways my worst nightmare I hate interiors with a passion sometimes but what I will probably do is have a raised dais here his little tea table area um, just some foliage and stuff maybe his bed area over here um, I may just leave a lot of this very minimalist and empty because you know these guys are supposed to be at one with their selves and into uh, self-sacrifice so yeah I'm going to have a bash at working on this side now and I'll see you in a moment Okay, I think that is that. Let me just realise I've left the window open, so I'll shut that so we can't hear the uh, people outside. So this is the little tea room area. Now, I realise a teapot on a tray and a couple of teacups is not 
very Japanese tea ceremony um, but given the mod pack it's the best I've got I've got the old Sensei's armor axe through here some more foliage moving through to a simple unadorned bed chamber so internally furnishings wise structurally I think we are about as done as we can be on this so I'm really happy with the way this has turned out internally I have to say um, I could do a little bit more in here I, I think it would be overkill um, so I'm going to uh, wait for the rain to go away in fact I'm going to toggle the downfall and I'll be back in a moment to have a look at this with some shaders uh, and discuss where we go next and be back in a moment okay so here we are I've got Silda's vibrant shaders on it's uh, dawn and the the only drawback with this is these statues <laughs> wobble um, but yeah so we've got the the water down here all all nice and pretty we've got some lighting in there which is useful that's all trundling down and as we head into the dojo a go go um, we have the weapons racks which fortunately aren't waving um, oddly neither are these leaves which um, <laughs> is odd seeing as the statues did we've got the old central battle area the well that's the uh, reflections from that mirror the, the, the battle standards which are doing strange things in the shader pack um, and we move through the old sword rack at the back here and we move through into the sensei's chamber where we have the little low table and teacups which I'm not going to look at because no doubt they'll start wobbling and we come out to the back to the stairway down so the next step I think and the, probably the final step for this is going to be landscaping a chunk of this area into a Japanese water garden I've replaced that sludge with water and, uh, and making it look more picturesque in terms of the garden area we'll probably have uh, some paths walking through reeds I'll replant some bamboo forest and I'm really happy with the way this is turning out um, few minor compromises on interior furnishings but yeah I think that is looking pretty damn good even though I do say so myself anyway comments and uh, any feedback always appreciated uh, and until next time when we start landscaping this area I'll see you next time thanks for watching guys bye for now